Oh. Hi. Um. I want to chill a bit and play some Spiral Knights. And that's what we're doing. That is what we're doing. What exactly? I don't know yet. We will probably find out. Within the next few minutes. What are we gonna do? Which gate do we go to? The third gate. Which tier? Tier 1. Shall we do tier 1? Do I wanna... I think I had pretty nice equipment that I felt like this is kind of fun to play with. And tier 2. It's like a couple of things that I would actually enjoy healing. But maybe it's fine to... It was surprisingly fun to use the... All of this. I wanna do not tier 1, I think. Or do we just do tier 1? It would be cool to have more time, just do like... One run. Okay, well, let's do tier 1, okay. Why not? <coughs> do we have anything here? We have Snarby! Haven't done Snarby in a while. Okay, um, we are, what do we need, uh, we need a pet, so everything, we need weapon, gun, and bomb, okay, let's see if we will actually do that or not, I will use any, yeah, you know what, any. Toxic needle. We actually have that. And that's like usable. <laughs> Firecracker would be awesome. Well, Tyke Tempest. You know what? I think that's working. Interesting that both weapons are level 10 already. But I think this can work. This can be okay. That's actually gonna be interesting, I think. Um, oh. <sighs> Fused Demo Helm, okay. But actually I wanna I wanna have stuff that I want to have, armor and helmet we'll we'll use. Something from here. Cat gun helmet. Is that... I think... Is that not the one that I actually have in 5 star already? Cat. Indeed. Okay, I can get that away. Because I do have it in 4 star as well already, right? I have... Yeah. I have this in... 5 star, 4 star, and 3 star. Okay then, Arcane Salamander Mask. Okay. So, Salamander. That's something I can work towards, yeah. And Dragon Scale Mail. Uh, dra what? Dragon Scale Mail is Vibrant Scale Mail. I don't have that yet, right? <clears throat> Scale. Yeah, I have only the eleven. Good. This shall be our outfit then. Working towards Dragon Scale Mail. And Arcane Salamander Mask. Looking a bit odd, but it's okay. Shields. What shield do we use? Dark Thorn Shield. That's completely useless. Okay, but it's fine. Do I even have it? I think I do. Yeah. That can be heated too. Okay, we can't heat the weapons, that's okay. But we can heat uh, these. 
And I think for you, I will... Wait, let me check the gate. This will depend on the gate deconstruction zone. It'll always depend, but I think damage up on the gun is generally a good thing to have. Okay. Deconstruction zone. Yeah, we definitely need this. We probably don't need this too much. Okay. Cool and good. Okay. Just wanted to check if everything is working. Uh, we can open this to public. Wait, what is this? Party invite? King of the Ashes? Nah. What? I don't want to do Novana. Okay, we're gonna needle everything away. Oh. Ah, that was a clean charge. I think here I might actually need the, the bomb. No? Okay, there's just nothing. Alright. Uh, maybe that's just the tier 1 thing. Maybe in tier 1 there is no danger in these rooms. Could be an explanation. Could be nice for some beginners. Wah. Wah. Let's clear everything. Alright, we get to Snarby later on. Ah, Snarby could be... Yeah, no, this could also be fine with this equipment. I'm actually pretty fine with this. I think Needle is the one of the, one of the more interesting uh, guns that I am fine with playing. I like the way that it gives you a little bit more riskiness by locking you in place <laughs> and shooting. The one shot was just going flying. <laughs> Do I want to listen to some specific music? I wonder. Another deconstruction zone. Mm. 
Okay, same thing again. Was working fairly well before, should work fairly well again. Surely this time there will be no trap in here either again. I've been betrayed. Cute. The shock deals one damage. One damage and nothing else. Get more tanky already. That hit me? Big sad. <clears throat> they freed themselves. I don't really need the remedy capsules, I think, in this tier. heat anything yet gremlin grounds i think we stick with the damage yeah it should be no in general it should be fine like this hi guy i'm doing pretty good what about you i am actually in a chill mood right now i had a little bit something that was Putting me down just slightly, but uh, it's it's fine. I'm I'm really happy about a couple other things. Uh, I am officially not sick anymore, <laughs> so like I don't like if I didn't have vacation, I would have ha would have I would need to go to work now. <coughs> I still need to cough sometimes. Uh, blow my nose. Um, but I, I'm 
I'm not super healthy yet, but I'm not sick either. I'm like somewhere in between now. Yeah. It's awesome that you're here. I was thinking just like a second earlier. Hmm, it's very chill. But it could be even more chill if somebody was in chat. And then you joined. That's awesome. And Trundle OP joined. Hi, hi. I think it's Mario's, no? Yeah, it is. <coughs> we vibing. Ah! The game kind of reminds me of Maple Story 2 back when it was still a thing. It does, right? I have played this game a lot and I've played Maple Story 2 as well when it was uh, when it was a thing. And I really enjoyed Maple Story 2 because it was very similar to this kind of. Maple Story 2 was awesome. It's it's so sad that it died so quickly. Probably wasn't as awesome because it flopped. Yeah, I guess. Somewhat. I found it awesome. It was pretty awesome to me. That was kind of terrible. I had finals back when it released, so didn't get to play it as much. I think same? When was that the case? It was like almost. I think I think I didn't have much time to play it either, unfortunately. I would have loved to play it more, but then I didn't too much and then all of a sudden it was gone. That was sad. Ouch. music <coughs> the past few days I've been busy only with unity and blender I was doing so much there I did uh, uh, a nice dress from scratch I was modeling and texturing and put it into VR chat, and that was so much effort, and it took me so long, but I r I'm really happy with the result now, it's like awesome. <laughs> 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 
That was also <coughs> a little bit of a brain fuck <laughs> getting it done because cloth is really hard. Cloth can be awesome, but cloth can also break your mind in the art chat. I'm gonna show you some pictures in a second. this beautiful dress so these pictures are not that great but here I love that isn't that so pretty it's so pretty I love this it's so good it was so much effort to get the skirt working with cloth so that it's not like glitching out but the awesome thing now is it actually has really nice physics and behaves pretty natural for example here like look it's it's like oh my god it's moving as it would in real life. Some awesome pictures there. Technology, yeah. <laughs> I like this picture a lot as well. Oh, hold on. Uh, just move here really quick. Yeah, I like this picture uh, here a lot. Super cute. Yeah, that's really cool. Unfortunately, I... Actually, I forgot to do something. Let me do this. Edit. There we go. Unfortunately, huh? F. Did I say unfortunately? To what did I say unfortunately? Hmm. Alright, I can heat. I should heat. Damn. I don't remember. <laughs> I do not remember. Look. Rainbow colors up there. Uh. Man, I'm kind of curious now. What did I want to say? Deals <coughs> less damage than I thought. It's 3 star in level 10. This is hard if you're a newcomer here. 
Oh yeah, no, I think it was still about MapleStory that unfortunately I couldn't, like, I think I couldn't play it as much as well, unfortunately. Like, um, it was the end of a sentence and not the start, maybe? Super easy to level up. Level 233 in 4 hours? Okay, that's kind of crazy. I will place one of these to keep them in place. Assuming they would ever want to move away. It's an event. Ooh. Wait, but it's not there anymore. So back then you got that far in that time or now or I'm a little bit confused. <clears throat> 200 and less than an hour, that's kind of crazy. I think I was like level 60, 70 maybe only. But I don't remember. It's been a while. Sad I didn't hit him. Oh, you can still play Maple Story 1, but you can't play Maple Story 2? That's kind of crazy. I was not aware of that. May I ask how old you are, guy? If you want to say. If not, that's fine too. Do the points on Twitch reset within a certain amount of time? No, they do not. Or at least I wouldn't be aware. Nope, nope. They shouldn't. Uh, sometimes I've had a bug where it is showing zero while you actually have more. But then once you collect like one of those boxes, then you uh, 
see all of your previous points again. Well, okay, I want to drink. Stay hydrated. It's a very good call. Tired. Not ideal. The pet's carrying us. What? He can get this far? I was not aware of this. I wasn't sure right now on which side you have to go. Too bad you can't chain the push-ups more than 30. Yep. 30 is max. This is a stream where I wanna enjoy and not suffer. <laughs> I am not willing to be the victim of viewers. Punishing me or something like that. I don't know <laughs> 30 is already kind of a stretch I'll keep it for a rainy day <laughs> Yeah, today it's not rainy Not in Austria either Still hit me with that. Incredible. No, we messed up. Deja vu. No fucking way. Yeah, it is. It is Marius. Yeah. Right. I was. I was writing in chat earlier as well. I haven't seen this guy in a while. Here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, haven't seen him in a while. Hi Indy, thanks for the resub. Awesome. Um, it seems like Marius is sick. You can maybe wish him a quick recovery or something, I don't know. Awesome gay stream. What? Alles gut, Marius. 
<laughs> Just so shall I reach him? All oh, right, you got a. I forgot. I wrote it in chat. So I did reach him. <laughs> Sucks to not have a gun. Barbara's farm blade set is insane. It is quite cool. I love how we both approach the same one. Generally pretty good. I'm in a chill mood right now, which I'm happy about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just have some things keeping me busy in my brain and in my heart. But other than that, I am uh, very happy that, first of all, I'm getting I'm all sick, uh, healthy again. A little bit coughing, a little bit uh, running nose still, but it's not too bad. Like I'm, I'm, I'm almost sick, uh, almost, almost healthy again. That's a scam. <sighs> Come here, boy. No, 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 no. Almost sick, yeah. I see, I get that, yeah. Oh. Yeah, but I was uh, really productive in my uh, being sick time. Ah. Uh, and of course now. Ay, 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 ay. Shy hitbox. Oh! Snipe. Gotta show you something. I was I was uh, working really hard the past few days. Hey, GG, snipe. Hi, Oliver. Hey, an orb. But yeah, I'm 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 pretty good right now. It's I'm slowly getting healthy. I was really productive. I'm happy with a lot of work that I've done. Still a lot more to do, but I'm in a chill mood. Okay, I can hit both of these. Good to hear you're doing good. Yeah. And you? Are you doing good too? I hope. Ah. Mm. 
Nice. Could not feel better right now, that's something else awesome to hear. So I was working on on this and it's entirely from scratch. I made a new dress and I think it's so pretty and I'm really happy how it turned out. It looks awesome. 100% self-made, like nothing, uh, nothing, no assets being used anywhere, just Blender and Gimp. And then, uh, that is awesome, I did that the day before yesterday, yeah, was working almost the entire day on it, Got the sparkles there, and then uh, yesterday I was trying to make it work in Unity really well with like, yeah, let me uh, to make cloth physics so that it's working good and today I finished that and I'm pretty happy with how it is cloth is really annoying because it's super inconsistent but if you manage to tame it then it can be super pretty and awesome okay so here we are in unity and uh what well, we go here get rid of this look at that isn't that awesome so first of all the way it moves is pretty good but the most awesome thing about this is that the collisions work really well so assuming you lift your leg you can't you can do that and it just works look at this isn't this awesome i mean this may may seem not awesome but for vr chat this is awesome you can just sit down and it just works like 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 cloth and this is super cool and i took some pictures today uh, In general, I took a lot of pictures, but here, uh, there we go. I think those turned out pretty pretty as well. And it's like small details like this. Look, just because there it goes there because of the leg. Small details like that, I think, are awesome. <laughs> Yeah, when sitting just works. It's the easiest thing ever with pants, but with skirts it's not. <laughs> not in VR chat. I like this picture a lot too, for some reason. Super nice. I think this is from Final Fantasy, the city or something. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that this works. However, there's still more work to do. Uh, the base work is done, but I still need shoes. This is not a dress that you would wear uh, without shoes. You, you, need, you need some proper heels or something here. And I also want to maybe add some, some accessories like uh, earrings I need and maybe, maybe something in the hair. 
or something on the arms or like something here just like a little bit more uh, accessory fancy stuff i think i want to make but that's something for the future i'm happy for now that the base dress is there and working and i wanna i wanna also upload this to to i don't know gumroad or something and give it away for free to some more people I am now thinking, also why, why could you not feel better? Does that mean there's something awesome happening for you right now? Todd Howard, it just works. How long did you take in general to finish it? Bro, I don't know, maybe 20 hours or so. It was a long time, like to, to, to have it the way it is right now in VR chat. Not really, I just feel great, that's awesome. I wish I had that sometimes more often recently. <laughs> Do I actually kind of have that right now? A bit. I'm happy. Very, very. Look, it's my happy place. It's very chill music. This actually is very awesome. <coughs> I'm wearing a good shirt. Being chill. And. Now I'm not entirely sure what I want to do. I technically wanted to stream just this gate and now stop and go into VR chat and continue recording for a music video I want to make. Or stream some world hopping, that would also be a possibility. But I'm kind of feeling the, the vibes right now with uh, this music. I think I'm gonna play a little bit of Trickmania. I think that's good. Just steadily doodling around. Minecraft would also be awesome. Like, I'm in the chill mood right now. I think I'm not in being productive and actually recording things. And, you know. Yeah. I think I'm in the doodling around mood. You know, maybe I could draw something. Some Drawing something could be awesome. But it's also like... Hard. I'm not a good drawer. Oh, I should also change the title, 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 title. Drachmania. have anything interesting happening today any of you too guy or indie also Todd Howard that was that was the guy from Big Bang Theory I think no or am I stupid not really I had work <laughs> Skyrim okay Skyrim Oh, okay, okay, okay. Guys, I wanna, I wanna... Ramble. <laughs> okay, no, no, not ramble. I'm at home vibing. Yeah, that's good. That's what I'm doing right now, too. Night swimming. <laughs> Wait, where do we... There's no way that we're supposed to go... Okay, I think... No, okay, I get it. You're not supposed to do a looping, you're supposed to... Do this. <laughs> uh, da -da 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 -da. Subnautica. I'll get back to that in a second. But first, let me read more. Yeah, yeah. I, it would be interesting to really know how long it ta took me for the steps. Sometimes I think it would be awesome to stream working on that stuff because then, you know, you, I can look at it again, the work process and stuff, and know how long it took. But I, I kind of recently, like, I don't necessarily... Maybe I could do something like that. But I don't feel confident enough in my ability to do that kind of stuff to stream it. 
because I need to think a lot while doing it and it's a lot of trial and error and I think chatting or like talking with chat while doing so would be distracting to me and then I would probably get a lot less stuff done. If I'm good with a workflow and I just have to do a couple of things, then it would be something different. Maybe I'll stream it again at some point. I think it would be fun. Okay. Uh, but in the end, I was working on it a lot. It's probably like 20 hours in total. The modeling was way quicker than expected though. Like th just getting the modeling and the basic texturing done. I think I had it finished in like three or four hours and I was pretty happy with that. And then I was annoyed by how long it took me to finish all the rest. But I also switched my Blender version from Blender 2.92 to Blender 4.1. So I made a major software change. Which is good in the end, I think. But I uh, had to get used to a couple of differences. Yeah, it still works. It still works. Oh, actually, yeah, no. There's a couple of things to talk about. Okay. Awesome. Now I can just drive and talk about stuff. Uh, but let me... Ba -ba -ba -ba. I was also working on my neck. <laughs> Not in this version, but in the art chat. The neck was pretty broken. And I fixed that and I'm really happy how I like about my detail of understanding about normals. Uh, that is really cool. You ever know that when you have like a topic and you actually kind of know what you're doing and it's really cool when you understand stuff. So that's something I want to talk about. Then Unity crashed and corrupted my files and then I lost a lot of progress that we can talk about as well. Okay, so Skyrim. He's the lead, lead designer over at Bethesda. Ah, Be Bethesda. Yeah, I can't even like... My bad. Sorry, Bethesda. <laughs> I'm at home vibing. Yeah, Subnautica. Yeah! Am I right? Yeah, Subnautica. Never patch a working software? I patched it because I needed something from the new software. Uh, the old software is not good at... Baking textures. And whenever I wanted to bake textures, I used the new version because that has some features for texture baking which were simply better. But for everything else I still used the old version, mainly because I just had all my plugins installed there already. And most of the plugins are compatible with the new version anyways, but I didn't want to bother like switching over and like installing them again. And usually it was fine because I didn't really make stuff from scratch, so I just had something and maybe I baked some textures. But it was usually a very... a one-time step. But this time, by making everything from scratch, I had more expectations, more wishes to have it more perfect. So I had to make a couple of adjustments to the mesh, then go back and do the texture baking and then switching and I had to switch between the two blender versions like six times and then I was like nah man you know what let's just actually switch over to the new version and everything is good again and everything was good took a little bit of time but it's fine so that is good yeah but I'm really happy now now I should be good with the new blender version for a good while Maybe another couple of years. <laughs> okay, Subnautica. Um, I'm currently not sure if I want to continue Subnautica. On one hand, I really want to continue because it's an awesome game and it's a really cool experience. And I'm curious, like, I don't really remember all of the things with the story. Uh, I don't remember how things end up, how you continue. Uh, and it would be really interesting. But as you know that I'm very scared, very easily, and it's kind of very, very impressive that I've gotten this far already. And I think, like, because I, I, I had vacation, I was not at home, I was sick. That's why I automatically took a break from Subnautica. Um, and right now, I 
think I'm not feeling sad if I just don't touch it again. Because I had a good time. I didn't have like a satisfying finish ending or something. But, it, you know, just like friendships when you just don't get in contact for a while longer. You're not that sad anymore. It's like, it's not a breakup. It's just, you know, over time it fades out. <laughs> and now I'm not sure if I want to touch Subnautica again and continue it. Or if I just leave it and say, I had my fun, it was awesome, it's getting a bit scary, I think it's okay for now. And that I'm currently not sure. Maybe I would like to give it one more try, going a little bit deeper. But on the other hand, it's also like I don't... <laughs> okay, awesome. Uh, oh, also I'm not sure if this uses the correct microphone. Okay, I kind of want to beat the record now. I had something in my brain. Yeah, but then it's also like I don't actually have to decide, right? Like I want to I, I kind of said to myself on Tuesday, Tuesday is the day where I want to play random games that I can finish in a way. So something like Subnautica or Celeste or Hollow Knight. I want to play all of these games every Tuesday now and more often potentially if I'm feeling it. But Tuesday is I think I want to put it as the day where I <coughs> do it as well and I can just leave it be for now and if I really feel like playing it again I can just play Subnautica again but it's also like I can just play something else now I can play Hollow Knight would be awesome but I think I want to play Celeste first Celeste would be really cool I'm really excited for Celeste. I really wonder how hard it's gonna be, if I can finish it or not. Because it's a really hard game, right? And a lot of people have struggled to finish it. And I think, generally, I'm a pretty good gamer. But I've been slacking recently, I'm getting worse. <laughs> I'm getting old. nothing terrible but I did notice that generally oh, I probably am overall in most games a little bit worse than in the past so I wonder if I can play Celeste cleanly or not would be very interesting if I can finish it So we'll see. Next Tuesday, still a little bit of time until there. I might also just do something earlier, but... Next Tuesday will be either Subnautica, or maybe I'll start Hollow Knight or Celeste. Oh, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. I also still have to get to that game. And a couple of others. Animal Will would also be interesting. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. I hope we get another track that's chill and not screaming for cuts.
<laughs> oh, that was so close. That was so close. I was so scared of hitting the ledge of the pool there. Yeah. So, while I was working on the dress yesterday and the skirt physics and stuff, I had a blender crash. No, you, a, a PC crash, Windows. My entire PC crashed. So while I was uploading a version of the avatar, suddenly I had a blue screen of death. Yeah, I can... Uh, no, not there yet. Huh, but it's also... Here, look, it's Merc and Party. Both awesome people. Uh... <sighs> Lamo. There we go. Here. It's so funny. This is something I've never seen before. Attempted write to read only memory. It was a stop code. I didn't really find anything for it. But I had a blue screen. However, it only happened on one screen. I've never had that happen before. Like, my second screen was still working and I saw stuff. And it also was still playing music. So, like, I still heard my music while the blue screen was going on. I couldn't move the mouse. The mouse was here. I couldn't move that. That was sad, but yeah. And the annoying thing is, this happened, scam screen, while I was uploading an avatar. And this somehow corrupted things. It, it, like, here, this is my scene. It should look... I don't have it open right now, but... Uh, there should be like a lot of things that I put in there all the colliders the avatar uh, Should all be there and uh, and it was just gone. It was corrupted and I actually lost that progress I lost quite a lot of progress because of that blue screen it Was just gone I had to redo it And a couple of other assets were also like corrupted Not too many luckily it was like I think all the, like, I was uploading the avatar and everything that was currently processing and uploading, or like, packing together, I don't know, all of that was what was currently being worked on, uh, got corrupted. But luckily I had a backup, so all of these things I could simply replace with the backup, and that's good. But this thing, unfortunately, was just gone, so I had to redo it. It was like maybe one or two hours that I had to redo. It's frustrating, it was really annoying, but I got it. I got it back in the end, so that's fine. But that was really interesting. I have uh, have a couple of pictures here. Um, ba -ba -ba, let me see... If I still have that here. So I had like a, a co these corrupted things. I tried to open it here and it just said no, 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 no. It still had the, the correct file size. It had the correct file size still, but it was just null and nothing else. And that was very sad. Even if I opened it in like hex editor, it was just nothing. It was basically empty. And another thing that I can show what I did, which I'm pretty happy about. And like about my detailed understanding of normals. It was like, it's like super small things, but... Originally, the neck here <coughs> was looking like this with shading. So it was just, the, the neck was just kind of put into the head and it was a clearly visible seam because it was not connected and the shading of the head bottom in general was just yeah i don't know what that's kind of awkward i mean you don't really see it too often only if somebody very small is there but still i are like awkward angles but i wanted this to be clean so i sat down and boom it's clean and made this but Doing this was a lot more effort than one might think. So there's a lot. <laughs> I had to use these arrows uh, or like these lines 
And I'm pretty happy to say I kind of really understand what all of these lines mean and how to use them. Because it's like normals and you need to... It's, it's custom normals here. Lots, lots of custom stuff there. Looks like Pinhead, yeah. But that, that's really cool. I was really happy that I got this very clean and smooth. And then it was really annoying. I, I was aware, so I still had like a small seam here, okay? There. This seam, I was, I didn't like. However, I saw, I like, with these lines, I knew it was good. There is no seam. There should be no seam. It should be a clean transition. And then I was like so confused why there was still the seam. And then I realized, oh, it's uh, because it's different materials. One material here and one material there. Yeah. Really cool though. I'm really happy that I understand normals now because it's a kind of complex thing, uh, I think, to understand. It's not like a huge deal. It, it's kind of interesting with a lot of uh, like my avatars. I am happy that you're happy. And I'm happy that you are happy that I'm happy. <laughs> Wait, do I still have that up? No, I don't. Okay, good. Um, with a lot of my work, doesn't really matter what uh, category, but let's talk about just avatars in general. I think they are not very flashy. It's not super impressive. Like, you know, some people make really crazy animations and then they can show it off and it's like, wow, oh. Oh, this looks cool. Like, my, my stuff is usually rather basic. But I try to nail the basics and all details. So it's like... Just a very solid base where... Everything kind of adds up. There's nothing like weirdly clipping through. Oh, you actually need the speed. Oh! Oh, wow! And it doesn't work now. Okay, awesome. No. It's not checkpoint save. Yeah, but that's a lot of these tracks. It's fine. It's fine. That's TMNF for you. Worst of checkpoints. <laughs> But yeah, a lot of people tell me my stuff looks really good and it, I think so too, but it's mostly down to nailing the basics, I think, like normals, clipping, limits, just not having things that uh, kind of interrupt the thing. The stuff looks good. Thank you. Oh, uh. and I'm very happy you made something that good from scratch. Yeah, the only thing that's not from scratch is the idea. I I noticed I am not super a creative person. I'm pretty good with the technical stuff, and I know what I like and what I don't like. But I'm not good at getting ideas. I'm not super good at getting ideas. I think it could be worse, like sometimes I think it's okay. But I'm much I'm much better at recreating something or working on something existing rather than just making something from zero without an I like like getting the idea for something. So the backstory behind making that dress from scratch uh, is actually also kinda interesting. Uh two years ago. Two years ago. I found a very similar looking dress at VCAT and I was like, oh my god, this is so pretty. I need it. I want it. I love it. It's awesome. Uh, 
and I never did anything. <laughs> Two years ago, yeah. Old. Two years is not that long. It's fine. Two years is not that long. Well, yeah, kind of what I expected. So two years ago, I found that at VCAT and I loved it and I wanted it. But I never really did anything. It was always in the back of my head. I was, I was like, oh, I know, I remember. Yeah, back then I did look it up, but it was not for sale, actually. It was just like a showcase. Okay, that's what they can do. And they had some other things for sale. But this specific... Oh, wait. Huh? Oh, I think this is like a failsafe. If you can't make this ju jump, then you have... Okay, I got it. And now I have to go all that way. Wait, what? Well, let's just drive and see what happens. Yeah, no, this works. Okay, good. But it wasn't for sale. And I was sad and I was like, ah, oh, well, I guess I'll have to make it from scratch. But I never did. <laughs> I was always too lazy. I always had in my back of my mind. I always knew I, I love this and I want to make it. But I just never did. And like two weeks ago. But now you did. Yeah. What is this? Old? Okay, here. Wait. Uh, how do I add this? Use emote. There we go. We got it. I think. <laughs> it's not really showing for me, unfortunately, but it's okay. Here. It's not showing. Uh... But yeah, so uh, two weeks ago, no, yeah, two weeks ago, something like that, I remembered and I was like, you know what, it's not for sale, I didn't do it yet, maybe I can message the creator, maybe they can. You can make that setting, where is the setting, it would be interesting. I see some emotes, but not all of them. Like I see Keck W. I think... Chat appearance... No... Shield node... Tasks... And non-mod settings... Better Twitch TV settings... Is it that? Wow... In the middle. And on chat. Auto claim drops. Channel points. Chat. Chat layout. Deleted messages. Enable a more advanced emote menu for chat. Okay. Emotes. Seventy me emotes. There we go. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> okay, maybe I can see. I can see it now. Don't check personal emotes. Okay. I will just trust you, I guess. Wicked. Nice. Good. Okay. Yeah. So I messaged the creator and was like, is this available for purchase somewhere? I would like to buy it. And she was like, nah. <laughs> like apparently it is uh, very similar or like a recreation of the dress from Weiss, Schnee Weiss or something from Ruby from uh, RWBY it's like uh... here this character 
<coughs> and apparently... There. It's kind of like this dress. And she, she made that and she was like... That, I, I wish she would have said nah. She kind of didn't really say anything. Kind of stopped replying. <laughs> uh, she said she could make edits for me and make it like a custom commission or something. You should copyright strike her now. <laughs> yeah, nah. Uh, oh yeah, basically I saw this like this on at VCAT. Found it awesome, wanted to have it myself. Uh, and... She was like, uh, I can make edits to the dress in ways that I won't get copyrighted, as the dress is actually from a show called Ruby. Ba ba ba. If I make small edits and to it, as in like maybe long, different neckline, basically just editing it so it's different enough, whatever. That's the last thing she wrote. I was like, is it really, like, it, it's a dress, it's not an entire character, it's a rather generic strike Ruby. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Nah. I, we, we've had that conversation. I, I kind of, I'm really annoyed at all of this copyright stuff. Uh, but basically, I, 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 I couldn't get it like this, so I, I made it myself. And I'm happy about that. Um... You, wait, what? You sent her your dress? What a way to answer. No, 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 no. This was all last week or two weeks ago. Two years ago, I was looking for it, but I didn't find it. But this was uh, 25th June, June. And then we had the conversation. And then she didn't reply anymore. I was like. Yeah, asking, like I was basically just saying, uh, wait, 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 I don't know. I don't know, but she didn't really say no or stop replying. So I was like, I would have appreciated a no, but I guess I should thank her because it motivated me to make it myself from scratch. <laughs> so I did that and I'm happy about it, but there's still more, more work to do. Uh, maybe I'll make some more stuff. I, I realized that I also had something else that I was working on. Uh, where is it? Kimono. I didn't realize I was already this far with making it. Like this is almost done. Look at that. That looks pretty good, no? Um, I thought I wasn't that far, <clears throat> so maybe I will continue making that from scratch and maybe I'll make some more stuff from scratch But I'm like not entirely sure Damn, Wood Wood? Wood what? Wood, wood, okay. <laughs> dun, dun. No, actually, yeah, no, that's what I wanted to say. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm good technical, but I'm not so creative with like uh, thinking about stuff. Like the dress, I made it from scratch. Yeah, I think I'm okay with making things from scratch, but I need a template. I need an idea, I need, like, I need inspiration. I'm very bad with coming things up on my own. Like, I changed the ribbon in the middle at the waistband. Uh, I changed a couple of things slightly. Oh, I forgot that you need speed here. <laughs> so that I'm fine with, but I'm not so good at just designing things from, from zero. Making it from zero, technically, yes. But designing from zero, not so much. That's what I wanted to say earlier. Remember that now. Oi, oi, oi. 
dies of cringe. <laughs> Good shit nonetheless, yeah. Thank you. I'm I'm a little bit struggling because of I have to go now? Okay. See ya. Oh no! Thanks for stopping by. It was awesome to have you here. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night and day and evening. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. You toot. Um, so we're gonna continue say what I wanted to say. If I remember, what did I want to say? Yeah, like making stuff from scratch is awesome and cool, but if I do that, I have kind of an unhealthy expectations on my, uh, to myself of like making it perfect. And I really like wanna add everything and make it super awesome and detailed and stuff which takes a lot of time and effort which is cool like it's awesome to have something super high quality and be able to say yeah I made that 100% from scratch but it's also awesome to just make a lot even if it's not from scratch and not as good like I love playing like just dress up doll just taking clothes from wherever that I find pretty and just putting them on the avatar and like making avatars I think that's also super fun and I would love, love to do that and I'm not sure like I'd, li I'd like to do a lot of clothes even if they're not super high quality but fast but I also want to just spend a lot of time on a single outfit and make it really 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 good and I like both but I like can't really do both because it's like an exclusive. Uh, you can't be fast and slow at the same time. <laughs> but basically what I just need to do is not think about it too much and just do what I, uh, what I feel like doing at the moment. And also kind of organize projects I guess. Because it would be fine, I can say I make one really high detailed thing, maybe. And then maybe I can pump out three quick outfits that are not insane, but still good. And then I can make another high quality thing. Like I can switch maybe. Or whatever I feel like doing at the moment. I think I just need more organization. Organization is awesome. I think I have pretty good organization already, but it can always be better. Making a lot of lists, making sure that you actually know what is there, what do you want to do. And kind of keeping track of projects that take longer. That's something I'm really bad at. Oh. So you need to be fast but slow down to not jump over this ramp. Interesting. Sad and interesting. <gasps> oh, I need to do that. I just had a realization. I need to look at some dances in MMD with that dress. It's gonna be awesome.
I think there was something else that I felt like saying. Yeah, I'm, I'm bad at keeping track of uh, longer projects. I, I'm really good at binging through something. Like I've worked 20 hours on this dress in two or three days and now it's good. But uh, there's good chances that the heels and you know accessories and whatever additional stuff I'd like to do will never get done. <laughs> like I'm really bad at working on projects in, in stages. Say work three hours on it and stop, work another two hours in two days later. Uh, this is something I really would like to get better at. Keep track of projects and finish them. <clears throat> Even if it's not finished in one go. A couple of videos that I wanted to edit. A couple, in general, a couple of projects that are all cool. I've put a lot of effort into it already. I never finished it though, because I couldn't finish it in one go, and I like finishing things in one go. I should make a list of all the things that I started but didn't finish, but I'd like to finish. And uh, try to work through them slowly. I kinda did that already, but I think that list is still too 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 broad. Hi Moni. I have like a really long list with a lot of projects that I want to do that I haven't even started. But I should make a separate list of things that have been in progress already. So let's say I did work on this video already for um, three hours, but I'd probably still need maybe five hours more to can finish the work. Um, like random numbers, but let's say it's like that. It's, it would be much smarter to do this project than to start over a new project that it's also awesome, but it would probably take even more time. So I, I think I should really start making a, a second list. Like a higher priority list. List that already has been worked on, that is way easier to... Uh, get the final touch done. The list of work in progress guild. <laughs> Got too many projects myself. Yeah, everyone. Not everyone, not everyone. A lot of people are just vibing and don't really do stuff or like don't have projects, but that's not me. I want to do all of the things. But then there's also projects that are difficult because they can't be finished, really. But you can probably make it smarter and finishable. Like, you know, there's like smart goals. It should be measurable, uh, like more concrete. I don't know, is this? Where do you, what do you need to do here? I think, what? New projects are fun? Yeah, but finishing projects is also fun. Do you really need to do that? Oh. Is that really the start? Do you have to make a ra uh, a ramp bug? A uh, lunch ramp bug? I think so. But that's so awesome, uh, awkward having that here. Well, I guess it is a rather awkward track in general. It's very hard. But it might be interesting. We just... Can I skip it? It's like... Okay. 
We, we skip it, I think it's too hard. I don't want to think hard right now. I think I was thinking enough already the past few days. <clears throat> if I don't have a deadline, I will put a million details into it and it will almost never be finished. Yeah, I mean, I was talking about that just before you joined, I think. I'm... I'm like that as well, but also not. As in... I would love to make a lot of stuff that's crappy. And quick. But a lot of stuff. But I would also love to make... Like one thing that's just super high quality and detailed. Like talking, I was talking about VR chat avatars and like making outfits and clothes for avatars. And I, I, I love playing like dress up doll. Just, you know, I have my couple of free characters, free avatars. And I would love to see them in all kinds of different clothes. You know, everything. Everything. Like. Even if it's not super high quality, I think it would be awesome to just have a huge variety of things. And I would love to make, like, like you know, it's, it's for personal use, like just download some clothes from somewhere and make it quickly, just fit it onto something. Um, and have it there and it's like awesome. Maybe, like, I, I tested, I can make for, for Genjin stuff, for example. If I download clothes from Genjin, I can make an entire avatar in, like, one hour. One hour and I have one new outfit. And I would love to just make, it like, like a machine gun, you know? Just, just, new clothes, new clothes, new clothes. <laughs> Put out three new outfits in three hours. Would be awesome to have that variety of clothes. But then again, it's also awesome to make something from scratch that takes maybe 20, 30 hours for just one thing. Like you said, and put like a ton of detail and, and, and just really putting a lot of effort into it. And then both. I wanna, I wanna make something quick and like I, I value both quantity and quality. <laughs> and I missed the checkpoint apparently. Uh, the flowy dress was amazing. Which flowy dress? A flowy dress? Flowy, I suppose. Have you been there earlier? The, the blue one that I've been working on from scratch? I don't know if you've been there. Wah! Flow? The one that was ready. What do you mean, ready? <laughs> So why is it locked into this camera? That's so terrible. From yesterday. Okay. Wait, yesterday? Was it yesterday? Oh my god, the time. Time is crazy. Oh, that's from Genshin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Violet and black, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that was awesome. But that was also very quick. Uh, not one hour, but I think like maybe, maybe like two hours or something. Download it, edit it a bit, put like sculpting, make sure that the weight painting works, that the seam between like the neck and the head is working. So that was a little bit of effort, but also rather quick. But, uh, what? What, 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 what? Let me open it up again. Oh, yeah, this. The kimono. That I've worked on this, I think, like three years ago. <laughs> Maybe I should finish this at some point. That's not what I was wanted to uh, go on about, though. Here it is. What? I was working on this dress uh, the past two days or something, or three days. And I love it. It's so pretty. Look at this. Isn't this awesome? It looks so good. I'm, I'm so happy about it, how it turned out. But this was like 20 hours of work or something, or even more. Like, this was a lot of work. It's completely 100% from scratch. Like, nothing, no assets being used from anywhere or any tools or anything. So 
after really something like I, I, I like rough estimate, but it was a lot of time. It might be a little less. It might be a little more. Wait, do I still have it on? Yeah. Okay. Good. I like the color change. Yeah, the color fade, the transition. It's it's really cool. I didn't like the idea is not from me. I've talked about this like ten minutes ago as well. I'm not awesome with ideas. Like designing these clothes that I'm not super good at. I'm more good at the technical uh the umsetzung. <laughs> So I saw I saw a very similar dress in VR chat and I was like I need this I want this it's awesome it's so beautiful I wanna I wanna have this on my avatars as well and uh, yeah I tried to buy it from the person who made it from like what I've seen but they were not selling it so I made it myself <laughs> <laughs> but uh, basically I had a picture in my mind, I just kind of recreated something, it's not... The original design is not uh, out of my brain. Can you? I wonder. Self-made is the way to go. In some way, yeah, but in some way also not. Like, yeah, both. Both, both, both. Both is good. And uh, we can just skip this. Ah, oh, this music makes me want to play poker. <laughs> and my smiling is broken. That's sad. I can't smile anymore. <laughs> yeah, 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 the flower design from the... Well, leggings, it's just pants, it's trousers, but... Uh, onto your car, yes. I love this pattern, it's so cool. Here, you know what? Yeah, oh, okay, 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 hold on, you know. Maybe I'll fix my smiling. Smile, hold on, hold on. Uh... Yeah, I can smile again. Uh, bam. <laughs> Let's do it like this. Okay, this is this is the new camera. Let's go. <laughs> Same. Oh wait, I need to. There we go. Ah, wrong. <laughs> I was trying to drive Blender. Yeah, it, it is the same. Uh, I found this pattern randomly in a Google search. Like I was uh, looking for... Like I, I had already a flower pattern for the pants. But I wanted more. I wanted a lot of different patterns. I wanted to be able to switch. And I was looking for more. <clears throat> and then I found this on Google. And I was like, oh my god, it's awesome. It looks so good. I want it. I want it. But you couldn't really get like a, a, a good version for free. And I was like, ah, ah I don't know. Uh, but I love it, it looks so good. And then uh, I purchased it for like, like you know, there's, uh, I think, what was it called? There's a couple of websites where you can make a subscription to use their assets, like, like pattern for products and stuff. Basically you buy a license to use those things. Vecteezy, uh, I think was one of them. And this was from another really weird, small, unknown website, but whatever, that thing was there and I love it. Oh, you can so make that a bug fin. Uh, like, bug fin? Bug checkpoint. Yeah. Oh, actually this is not, not half bad, now I have this camera view. Wait, did I break it? I think I broke the camera change. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, so I purchased it. I used it for the pants and now I always use it. 
Like, I wanted to switch between different pants in VRChat usually, but I never did. Like, I've just stick to this because I really like it. And then I was playing a more Trick Mania again. Haven't done that in a long time. And... I just used the default car skin. It was uh, like just the Austrian car skin, which is the default when you are in Austria and play. And I like the, the, the Austrian car skin, it's awesome, it's kind of cool. But I was thinking it's like it's cool, but it's also kind of boring, right? Like, I want something more flashy, something cool, something pretty. I want to be pretty. And then I just put the flower pattern on top. <laughs> and I think it's like, it's okay, it could be better. I literally, it was zero effort, it's just slap the texture on top and boom. It, it works, it does the job. Oh no, I hate these jumps. Like they're cool and awesome, but they never work the way they're supposed to work. That kind of worked, cool. Backflip 360, woo! No, oh, I saw the bait, but I was too slow. Wait, maybe I can just cheese it. Oh, I oh, what? I almost made it. <laughs> if you like it, you don't need to change it. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I don't have to. But it's kind of funny because I wanted to change at first, but then I really enjoyed it, and I don't need to. Okay. What? See, still doesn't work the way it's supposed to. Like these ramps, they're not good. Good now. That is another fake jump. <coughs> I need I need and want to paint some minifigures, but I also want to just chill. Got a deadline, so crunchy work it will be. A deadline for the minifigures? For like some D&D or... What is the deadline for? What? Oh god, this is awful. <laughs> But yeah, kind of same. Like I don't want to paint in, uh, minifigures, but I wanted to keep working on that uh, a couple other things, videos and uh, the dress earlier. And I wanted to do that, but I'm also like in a just chill mood. The music is like really giving me the chill mood right now. <laughs> just playing Trickmania, not thinking too much, just just chilling. And I'm hard uh, struggling deciding what I want to do. Oh, I made it full speed on top! Woo! That was clean. I will, I will visit my uncle in Germany in August and they are, they are his minis from different board games. Ooh, I see. Damn, taking commissions or something like that. Can I climb over here? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it's basically my first commission. Awesome. <laughs> Can you jump over that? You saw the tribe chief? No. No idea what that is. <gasps> ah, you can jump over there though. Okay, okay, okay. No, but now I wanna cut this. Now I want to cut this. I don't think I do want to cut this. Do I want to cut this? Okay, let me also... Uh, e oh, no, not... Yeah, I mean, yeah, but no. <laughs> Hi! Okay, I'm back. I put in this one mini a lot of work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
it's cool to put work in, into stuff. Wicked. Oh no, I messed up. <laughs> it's 21. has to work that's so working it is so working oh god it's that song i need to how, how does it not work Sometimes I look in her eyes and that's where I find the glimpse of us And I try to fall for her touch But I'm thinking of the way it was Said I'm fine and I moved on I'm only here passing time in her arms Hoping I'll find a glimpse of us. I know the uh, glimpse of us. Glimpse of us by Joji. It's a uh, a love song. <laughs> Woo! <coughs> no, 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 no! Oh, you can just jump out. Awesome. That's quicker, actually. Is it? I don't know. It might be. <coughs> it's kind of depressing, actually. <laughs> the song <laughs> but it's also beautiful but it's uh yeah a story but sometimes i look in her eyes <laughs> There's so many cuts in here, but I don't want to care. I'm just driving. I've been cutting already, though. Kinda. Said I moved on. I'm only here passing time in her arms, hoping I find a glimpse. Okay, let me let me do one quick look. If I find the cut. Okay, so we start off here. We go there. We do this cut. Then here we do this cut. Get this thing. Then we drive up there. It's all slow. It's all slow. We can't really get over there. We don't actually need to drive up here because we can... We can just jump out here, I suppose. Is that faster? It might be, but maybe not. Hmm. Because you could just go all around and get this checkpoint. Then when you have this, you, you kind of keep going there. And then here... It's also you just kind of no. This is this is bait. How are they so fast? They're doing some other route for sure. I don't know. I don't want to think about it. I'll just drive it one more time, the normal way. 
The stream is faster on my phone than on my PC. What? I've had that too a lot, uh, sometimes. I've had that sometimes too. <laughs> like, I was I was watching something interesting and then, uh, you know, when you go gotta go to the toilet, but you, you, you need to know what's happening. You can, yeah, you, of course you gotta take your phone on the toilet and keep watching. Um, and that's when I noticed. Sometimes the phone is faster. <laughs> Why am I so bad at this card? Maybe I should stop. Maybe, maybe, maybe I should stop. <coughs> hmm. What is that? Nah, again. Always. Always. Look at that. I got a friend request by Jessica. Oh my god. A friend request out of nowhere. With no message. Uh, one mutual server. Remember since 2019. That's... Okay, usually it's like 2024. But it's like... It's always... Annoying. I'm like 95% sure if I accept and start or like ask hello, what's up, what do you need, what do you want, who are you? Like 95% sure that they are somebody who's trying to A scam me or B sell me art that I don't want. <laughs> It happens so often. <laughs> That's the the struggle when you're on way too many Discord servers. That one way to put it. No, it's uh, it's it's very likely like this. It, there was a time where I kind of got like random friend requests like that. I had one day where I got three of those, three in one day. Now it's like maybe one in one in a week or something. The art part. Yeah, uh, selling me art that I don't want, yeah. No, it is like that. They're like, maybe they actually do sell stuff. Like, I think some of them might actually do sell art. That's okay-ish in a way. Maybe you can't, no, that's even slow. I don't know, I, I, wanna, I wanna stop. I don't wanna do this track no more. Is there something else? There's no servers, it's it's GG, it's over. It's Jover! Hello? Is my internet dead? Hello, is you dead? I'll drink some water, stay hydrated. Oh, my bottle is almost empty. My bottle is empty. Ah, posture check, okay. <laughs> Sitting up straight, but I'm gonna reset the camera because otherwise it looks awkward. <laughs> Trust me, I'm still sitting. Why is it broken? Trackmania <laughs> is the dead. This is also not necessary anymore. Can get rid of this, can get rid of that. Can reject the friend request. Uh, stream recap. Oh. oh, that's cool. Okay, let's analyze this here. So there's this guy, Floatar. A uh, very chill person. That's super funny. Like, he's streaming on Twitch, uh, making 2D and 3D art. It's so funny, like... <laughs> um, oh, that's me. <laughs> so like, 10 years ago or something, a long time ago, really long time ago, uh, I was with my cousin and I think we went to Twitch browse and we just went somewhere and then we clicked on something. Okay, GTA, whatever, and then we were scrolling down here 
and then we clicked on the random stream. Boom. Paul, skin back, goodbye, I don't know, okay. So we did that, and we ended up on this guy's stream. And it was super cool. Like, it was super random, but he was super awesome, and 10 years later, and I'm still, like, watching their streams sometimes. Super awesome to just lurk. And they're really talented with making art. Both in Blender and 2D and whatever. And apparently, today, they were making a RPG map create. Uh, a map for D&D. Let's analyze this. Is this good or not? Also, let me read. Today I tinkered with Trench Broom and Quake mapping again. I used an RPG map creator to make a sketch for the level input. And based on that I created this. Ooh. For Quake. Pretty quick for three hours of work. Hmm. Entire level. I've never played Quake, I don't really know anything about it. Okay, okay. Where do you start? Exit. I guess you kind of start here, maybe? I don't know. Start here. Switch or elevator? Power up? Like help? Glowing water. Underwater section. Cave. Big health. <laughs> Big health. Power up, monster dude, sea dude, power up behind. Ah. I'll see the key, but all the monsters. Oh no. <laughs> He's so cute. I love him. Monster dudes. Another monster. Augurs and flying dudes on pillars. <laughs> monster pops out. Platform with gun. Patrolling dude looking away. The right corner here. It might be Quake guy. Now I'm enjoying just the de yeah. The, I'm I'm looking at the description now. It's kind of funny. Ominous locked door. Big bad guy. Boss dude. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, also makes like reaction worlds and avatars really like that's so funny. Uh, it's so funny how random this was and like, yeah, very relaxing. That looks good. I think it looks good too. Uh, what do I do? Do I just stop? <laughs> I don't know. I think I'll stop. I think... I think I will stop. Yes. I need to cook. Go and cook. Make some food. I wish you a wonderful rest of your evening. I think I'm stopping here. Yeah. I'm leaving. I still have the old eyes here. I, I read it... A uh, couple of things. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Have a good rest of your day and see you next time. Bye bye.